You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had that guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. Hatch squares? What? <laughs> and Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then you're dismissed. Hey, you there. What is it, dude? Tell the three Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, dude. Alright, bye. I have one crystal star in my hands and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Ooh, TEC called me here again. I wonder what it is this time. TEC, does that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gordis's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am not able to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Gordis has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. Not one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You'll be fine if you go according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, TEC. Really, ask me anything. Sure, what's what's for me? Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Are you guys ready for the worst Peach interlude in the game? Yep, here we go. There exists a Pepsi Chan body pillow? Ooh. Fancy. I mean, what? Why say fancy? You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator, enter the room with a green lamp lit above it. I never really noticed the Peach's Castle song in this song. I think that's a cool, uh, addition, honestly. Now I'll have you concoct a potion that'll make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you'll enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It is that machine in the back, that, but even I do not know which potion is set where. There should be memos left in the room by x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions to the machine. Ooh. Listen to this fancy music. It's not playing the fucking cooking music. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Place the yellow potion between the blue and green potion. Wait, wait, hang on. What does that say again? Place the yellow potion between the green and blue potion. Okay, I think I already found out the solution. No, two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Oh. Between the green and red potion? Wait, really? 
Really? Huh. I think that I think that uh I think that says what I think that says what I need to know. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Very well. And place Q the button. And please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Wee wee. Well, hey, at least the sound design's pretty damn nice. Please press the button where the breaker stops to dispense each potion. Wee wee. This part I don't mind that much. Nice, nice that you have like a little time limit. Ooh. It definitely sounds satisfying, that's for sure. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Okay, this is where I gotta set my timer, so I'm gonna focus. Uh, actually, I'll do a stopwatch, how about that? Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Now please press the button to begin the heating process. <laughs> yeah, so you do actually have to count the seconds still. There's still a little Timmy moment where you gotta... You actually gotta count the seconds properly. There we go. I mean, I haven't fucked this... I haven't fucked this part up of the game in so long. But still, there's just that... There's just that part of me that worries, like, oh, what if I do fuck it up? You know what I mean? But my calculations should be finished, but... Did it come out correctly, do you think? Very good. And please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells... really funky. Funky! Please, you must drink it. Oh god, she's faceless! You've done it. You've successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. However, I have detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. Oh, right. Of course. Oh, wait. I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, locate the disc with the recorded data, then connect to the network. I'll explain in further detail when you're in Sir Grotus's room. Once you're finished, please come back to this room. I'll teach you how to make yourself normal again. Jeez, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. Alright, more sneaking music. Yes, I became Cerno. Whoa, okay, that was creepy. Why the door is he open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Huh? <laughs> Love how they get confused. That's a good detail. The x knots are confused. I love this fucking sneaking music. Love the vibe of this room though. Look at all the purple. Okay, there's there's the cross yucks. Sir, no way. It's especially Grotus's room. Now where is that disc? Ooh, I love the carpeting. The carpeting is really nice. Found it. This must be it. You got a data disc. 
Which is literally just a Famicom floppy. Then please insert that disc into the computer in this room and connect to the network. Alright. We're gonna get the Famicom disc system start up. Yes, you're using the vocoded voice mod. Data disc. Yeah! There it is! I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! Yay! The Famicom Disk System Startup. Looks just as good as I remember it. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disk back where I put it. I find it really funny that Gross just has a fucking Famicom in his room. There, like I was never here. Eh? Wait, I have to walk all the way back? Doesn't it warp you back in the original? I don't know, honestly. Jose is taking credit for voice mod now, apparently. Alright. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the, de the date I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink a green potion, you'll revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Wow, she works again. What a relief! I was kind of worried I never might be visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Find the computer room. Yeah! Find the computer room. <laughs> it's info. Say, by the way, TC, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data was heavily encrypted, but if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I'll let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use my communicator as you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. I framed my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay, take care, TEC. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, TEC. Princess Peach, I will protect you. All right, it's Bowser time. B browser, Blazer, Bower, whatever you want to call me. Ugh, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's on because this is Twilight Tower, my lord. One of the stars should be here. Blazer Square. Let's put the screws to one of those creepy things and find the crystal stars. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Am I gonna turn into a pig again? The mayor is out. He's most certainly not scared of his mind. He's just out. Nobody's home, really. Everybody left for the day. Please, please, please. Raw. Ah ha! Ah. 
like how Bowser can still check bushes. But, uh, Mario can't. I'm stuck within the bushes, Cammy. You know, I bet the laundry never drives around here. Oh, what is it? Oh, just catch one of those weirdos and make him tell you where the crystal star is. Mally will square when? Uh, in a bit. A crystal star? I I have no idea, really. Please spare me. Bruh. I'm dreaming. Yep, just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. Um, today's a holiday. Really, it is honest. It's National Not Get Eaten by Monsters Day. Yeah, Beatrice is wait. Make one of those weirdos tell you where the crystal star is. <laughs> so in the original, they actually just straight up don't have the loading zone here, which is weird. So that Cammy dialogue is brand new. Bruh. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her bomb, super bomb bomb somewhere around here. This, this stinks, really. This whole deal looks extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. <laughs> Bam, got it. I'm the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal star in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> the luck of the moon still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? <laughs> Somebody there? Hey, what's the big ideal, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. This'll help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill everything. Bit of info out of you, your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Oh, whoa there, big guy. I mean, no way, what am I afraid of? You? <laughs> if you think you can take me, then try it, suit mix. All troops report. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You like talking yet? Yeah, you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Whoa, well played. Damn, look at this. Hehehe, <laughs> so gonna be a tough guy? <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these days in handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle don'ts. Super bomb bomb. Yeet. Hey, coming. Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crap. Oh! Mario Squares. Yo, you have distinguished yourself in battle. Excelente, amigo. You're worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, oh, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. And I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now let's get this boat moving. Well, that's all there is to it then, am I correct? To see, Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my report regards to the boss, will ya? Yo, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm sure they'll all just be fine here. Let's go, Mario. Yes!
Prepare dos, amigos. Cast off. Let's go. Yeah, Cortez's ship theme. Monstar, a day circus heart. And thus our adventure came to an end, exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly onto Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes. Want to test 12.3 tomorrow? Sure. Wait, is tomorrow Saturday? Um, maybe. I'll see. Even now, I hear the crew ready to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wanders the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. Toho, that would be nice. Ooh, nice remix. Right, neat, nice remix of Rogueport. At last, return sudden glory to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, this is only because of my courageous efforts that we turn it all, eh? But of course, you all know that and know it all well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, wh where are you leaving already? Oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue to our own adventure also, huh? One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how do you say, shoot for the stars, eh? <laughs> Fuck you, ads. Un momento, that reminds me. If you ever get the urge to return to Kilogi, just say the word, see? I'll send you to the Isle of Faster than the fastest winds can blow. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight's done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. We will meet again, eh? Well, Mario, we probably ought to go, too, don't you think? Let's go to the door. Let's hold the crystal star in front of the thousand year door. You come back from that island alive, mate. You're a blooming freak of nature. You're a master. You're a true tame of the high seas. You're more of a man than I am. If it weren't for you, those guys never would have returned. Thanks, pal. I better be careful when I go out to see in the future. Little bros shouldn't have to worry about their older sibs. My big brother came back safe and sound. It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Does this guy have a new dialogue? You know that sailor who's constantly freaking out? That's his brother, here. Talking to guys like this, it seems like sailors always want to get back to the sea. But they're pros, right? Do they really need to worry about each other so much? That's a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor, but hey, I can see him worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's tweaked. Oh. I thought that would have gotten updated. What the fuck are they doing out there? Might have to turn on my noise suppression or something. What the fuck, man? What the hell is going on out there? Eh, whatever. I guess we'll deal with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I want to test, I don't know if I want to test the, um, I don't know if I want to test it tomorrow, though. i kind of rather just, you know, do it on Sunday, and if it works, it works, you know what I mean? I mean, if Toho 10.5 works, Toho 12.3 probably will work. Anyways, I'm going to take a little break. I'm kind of sick of uh, that fucking guy mowing the lawn outside. Okay, I'll probably just deal with the lawnmower for now. I'll probably just 
stick with my my higher noise suppression. No voice mod for a little while though. But yeah, lawnmower should become shopping carts. Anyways, Linguini's here. And I got another piece of the marvelous compass at Jazzafaz Town this time. But I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Oh, it was pretty remarkable. Wanna hear what happens? It's a long story. Alright, Jazzafaz Town. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafaz Town, we are overcome by the glitz and glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While I was looking for the piece of the compass, I met a daisy. I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I totally couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know? When I hear Linguini talking, it sounds like he's laughing. I guess. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama Black might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, either way, this is the exact same Luigi noise that's in Origami King. They just copied it over to this game. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed at the cast and hit the stage. Our musical is called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part was grass. I played grass by the side of the road, grass, bro. Grass! Mario's sleeping while bro's talking. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent to everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cares someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical is the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part that was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The real chat party just made me feel worse, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans, my fans, fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the Maris compass, which pointed north. That's how you know he doesn't give a fuck about what he gets. Yep. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in the Grimble Forest. Then that voice again. Oh, my cherished princess, declare how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you, I'll reach you, I'll stand by your side and be your Luigi. Ah, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so anyway, I got back on my boat. I came back to Rogueport and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Oh. You don't give a fuck what he says, okay. Oh, I'm Hazy, and I must say Luigi's a great actor, one of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on a tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Th this sassy guy. That's Luigi's daisy friend, Hazy. Apparently, Hazy's an actor-director. You know Luigi's acting baby, right? The grass thing? I can never play grass. I don't want to play a princess, and a prince would make me with a kiss. So romantic. I think so. I think Hazy's the only party member that doesn't hate Luigi's guts. <laughs> Pretty sure, anyway. Anyways, we can finally go over here and get HP drain. It's about damn time, I swear. You know, I don't really care for HP drain. Yeah, it's nice to pick it up, you know. I like this new remix of Road Force Steam. It's like more shanty sounding, you know. I guess the port has its own theme song now. They hate Luigi. Yeah, all the, the gimmick with this game is that all of Luigi's party members hate him because he's just like a dumbass. More pirate themes. Oh, I'm having- I'm, I gotta go to the bathroom! Hey, that's your ring, Mario. It must be an email from Princess Peach. Check it. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called TEC here. By cooperating with this TEC, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. TEC is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once this tan analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email again once I learn more. Be good, okay, Prince Peach? Wow, that Prince Peach is totally awesome. Go, girl! We better get to work, too.
RDM issue 4. That's the same. Accept my challenge. Hey, yo, what the fuck? That's new. Hello, Mario. This is Mush, Jolene's younger brother and first champion in the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. Still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis hadn't saved me, well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was wondering if you heard about my big comeback. I've been pushing all my limits with the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. I'm finally feeling and seeing results, so it's time for Prince Mush to make a grand return to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help, and she's arranged a special exhibition match just for the two of us. New champ versus original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'll be waiting for you in the Glitz Pit. Prepare for a mush pr Prince Mush performance like you've never ever seen before. I'm actually not sure that you've seen me battle before, so just believe me when I say I was good. Don't leave me waiting, Pr Great Gonzalez, from Prince Mush. Now this is brand new to the game. Prince Mush was so underutilized in the original. He shows up after you beat Grubba, and then you never hear from him ever again. It's like the biggest wasted potential ever. But now, they have a new super boss against him, I'm guessing. Which is fucking awesome. I'm gonna do that then, holy shit. Rogue Park today. Late in the afternoon, Gumez, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. As for comment, Gumez, Gumez said, Well, I just really, literally love flowers, and I was hanging out. And before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogueport respond with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower cons conservation efforts. This time we introduce the Twilight Shop. Watching the husband and wife proprietors of this shop at work is a heartwarming sight. But don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, says the jovial, jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life and your fancy big city teeth ain't gonna change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We pressed the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words were unprintable here. We did learn from his highly chatty spouse that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show her, th her this screen for the next tw in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Alright, my little rookies, we're on to an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is a healthy salad. Just slice up a turtle leaf and a horsetail. Mix them together and you're done. Pretty for your ne next gathering of herbivores. I accidentally left my Twitch. Oops. That's all for today, but check your mailbox soon for another exciting issue. That's really good. Okay. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? There's a world-famous sailor named Bulberry in Rogueport who... Huh? He's already with you. Fine, Mr. Big Brain. Oh, a better tip next time. <laughs> hey, you don't have any good jobs, do you? You know, easy work, amazing pay. Yeah, like maybe something where I do a little dance and get paid for life. <laughs> Place Try Skies Arcadia. I've heard about that game. Well, now that we're in town, we're gonna do a bunch of shit. Alright, what word does he say today? I'll stomp you. Hey, yeah, it's me, Darkly. I like dim places, yeah. Did you know the mayor of Twilight Town is my grandfather? Yeah, he is. What? He turned into a pig? <laughs> you tell the most ridiculous lies. I did not know that was his grandson. That's interesting lore right there. Hey, don't be on the collapsed. Yeah, the boss of West Rogueport, down and out. Have you heard that already? He's been in bed ever since. I don't know how he's doing. I tell you, Ishmael smiles better than that down Pianta guy by a long shot. Now, don't get me wrong, I've never met either one, so I'm just talking to you. Yeah, I want money, but I don't need a lot of it. The way I see it, the more money you have, the more money you want to have. If I have enough to help my friends enjoy my days, I'll be fine. Secret of life, man. Yeah, it's made by Sega. Alright, um... Let's see. Let's do, um, Coop Poop again. Wait, we're finally doing it. It's me, Coop Poop, the wire high sheet champion, dude. I'm high chum wearing Hooktail Casual right now. If you find me, I'll give you a member's card for Panther Parlor. Think you can do it? Really? Alright, let's do Koo Poop's Trouble. Do it and do it right. Oh no, it's a scammer again. Yay, we love those people. I gotta, I gotta, you know what? Give me, like, five minutes. I'm going to add that to my band shit real quick. 
Okay, I'm back. So, um... Yeah... Um... Reese, for the past few days now, there's been, um, like, scammers on Twitch again. And they found a new way to bypass my, um... My, my, like, block, block auto detection or whatever. They're using new phrases that I gotta block out, so... Yeah, I just did that real quick. <laughs> Because I don't feel like dealing with those badasses. And I, when I say badass, I mean they're bad and they're assholes. It's it's just a thing that happens sometimes. Anyways, I enough I'm still missing fucking star pieces. It happened yesterday too, and I was just I was thinking about banning them, but I'm finally I'm finally getting around it. Call them dumbasses. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Well, they are dumbasses. Also, did I 100% um, chapter 5? I didn't check. Now, let's read about it. A tropical island in the southern sea is said to be deserted and cursed. The far side of it is covered in a jungle filled with many brightly colored creatures. Uh-oh, I'm missing a star piece. The cave where pirates once hid out. It's quite spacious inside and even has seawater flowing into it. It's filled with the ruined shells of wrecked ships and other floatsum. I missed a star piece in chapter 5. I'll have to get that eventually. Hmm. Well, let's see. I 100% all the chapters so far. Yeah, it looks like I have. Everything except for Pirate's Grotto looks like. Okay. We almost got all the star pieces in Rogueport as well. We're getting closer. Yeah. Alright, so... Hmm. Yeah, chapter 3 is completed. Chapter 2 is completed. Okay, so we're good here. Let's look at our badge list. We have 53 out of 86 badges. That's pretty, that's pretty good, honestly. Alright, anyways. We're gonna go to... Oh, right, there's Cody's down here now. Cody's down here now. In half. That's Cody. You know, a Koopa wizard. It'll throw a load of paint our way by e while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. And when there's only one of them, it splits up into multiple copies and mess with us. Stop this thing faster, we'll be in a world of hurt. Yeah, die, Cody. Bingo time. Wow. Oh. Yeah, we gotta get all the sewers enemies now into our tattle log. That's right. Yeah, I'm early goaded. Ooh, fire flowers. Look at all the money I just got. Holy shit. That's another thing I gotta do. I gotta get all the... I gotta get the new three sewers enemies down here. What? What the fuck? Ow. Hang on, Goombella tattled him first. That's a Koopa Troll, a Koopa Troopa who protects himself with spiked armor. Max HP is 6, attack is 2, and defense f attack is 4, and defense is 2. It attacks with its shell and with, and with its head, then sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, it'll call in reinforcements. Yeah, it's sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopas dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, and by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing now anyway? Eating? Man, if I just had one extra attack power, that'd be great. I could, I could kill these guys in one turn.
Bonk. Yep. Yeah, more money! Actually, a good question. Can you cook? Can you cook Volt Shrooms in this game, I wonder? I don't know if you can. Alright, here we are at the Thousand Year Door. I love that the more crystal stars you get, the more music gets added to this room. That's a really good detail, honestly. We have all of our partners here! Yeah! I thought they would circle around the pedestal instead of doing this weird V shape. Ooh! We got the blue one now. Oh, new place. Come on, let's go talk to Professor Frankly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great news, my friends! Now we know the next crystal stars in Parchley Heights! Wait a sec, you mean where all the rich and famous people live? Like movie stars and stuff? Like Hollywood? Yes, yes, and I believe Parchley Heights is also home to a shrine to the stars called Parchley Sanctum. The next crystal star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm certain of it. Fairly certain. Mostly certain. But I know fear some monsters are dangerous dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. So, a little help here. To get to Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all! The XS Express! Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours! Greeting, getting those Crystal Stars has been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch! But I thought you had to be, like, obscenely rich to get an Express XS Express ticket. Mm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that moody mobster again. Oh, well, guess we don't have much of a choice, huh? Come on, Mario. Let's go. Let's go. Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time until the demon resurrects. You must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Head for Pasha Heights as soon as you get a ticket from Don Pianta. I'm counting on you, Mario. Don't let the fiends beat you there. Uh. Guess I'll have to ask Don Pianta for a ticket at Texas Express. Back to the west side shop we go. Well, there's something real quick that I want to do. Boo mail? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consult, when I consulted my star charts, I saw a potential sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, Near the black, empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign to you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Yep, so we're going back to Hooktail Castle for a third time. Crazy, I know. While we're at it, let's also do another thing. Let's go unlock the chat repo, too. Woo! Actually, there's a few things we can do in the sewers now that we have, uh, Bobbery. So yeah, uh, here's chat repo. I won't- I don't know if I'm gonna use him, honestly. But, we'll talk to him anyways. Hey, <laughs> you've come quite a ways. This is chat repo's adjustment house. If you think you want to change your stats to your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. So, who needs adjustment? So you can adjust Mario's stats. 
and you have to lower a stat. So I could go danger. I could go danger strats if I really wanted to, but I feel like that's not really fun and interesting to do danger strats. That's Chat Repo, the adjuster. He can adjust your stats or your partner's ranks. Me, I wouldn't trust this guy with anything more complex than plucking back hair. I know I always say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but still. Although I think they made they made Chet Ripple less rude as well. He don't really says shit like "get out of here" and all that. I would, I need to check the remit. I need to check the original after that and compare some shit for myself and see how like just what they changed. And also, a great thing is now that we have Bobbery, we have a shortcut. Well, actually, before I use Bobbery, let me show something that most people don't know. You can actually roll under this. Yeah, you can roll under this. But, most people just blow it up with Bobbery. And now you have a shortcut to, um, you know, the, the east side. Or no, this is the west side of Rogue Port Sewers. So yeah, that's one thing. And you know what, let's go talk to good old Wonky. How's my HP doing? I'm at 3 HP. <laughs> <laughs> Something you want to ask old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I can tell you about the omelet meal. Sure. The most delicious thing old Wonky's ever eaten is an omelet meal. I remember having it at the hotel at Pasha Heights. It was made by that chef of legend, Maitre Delish. I believe it was made with a mushroom and a mystic egg. Oh, just one bite. I hear one can actually find the mystic egg near Boggly Woods. Teams the punies are the only ones who know where to find them. And I suppose that's all I have to say. I can tell you about Grubba from Glitzville. So about that Grubba in Glitzville. He went from a mediocre fighter to the ruler Glitzville in a matter of years. And there's a rumor that it was all because he found a glittering gem somewhere. I don't know what kind of stone it was, but it must have been a nice good luck charm. Then again, I heard he hasn't been seen recently around Glitzville, so who knows? And I suppose that's all I have to say. If you get five coins, I can tell you about Yoshi colors. Oh, this is this is where you learn about the Yoshi colors thing, huh? Way, way down in the south is an island where lots of Yoshis live. And Yoshis are born from eggs, as everyone knows. But a Yoshi's color depends on its egg conditions right before hatching. So it's always a surprise to see what comes out, you know what I mean? Your Yoshi has a rather nice color, by the way. I'm sure he'll grow to a fine Yoshi, yep. And I suppose that's all I have to say. Well, he doesn't actually tell you about how it works. He doesn't tell you that, like, it's based on how many minutes you wait. I can tell you about some mysterious troops. I've gotten word of a strange group soaking all real rope port recently. They wear masks and weird quick costumes with an X on the front. Talk about kooky. And they're always huddled together when we got some treasure. I've even heard they unearthed some shiny stone down here. Weird. And I suppose that's all I have to say. I suppose I could tell you about horse tails. You've been to Petal Meadows, haven't you? Well, they have these blue and gray striped poles called candy pops all over, right? I've heard that one of them will give you a horse tail if you hit it ten times. You should go try that out sometime. I could tell you about Lala's private life. Now we're just spreading gossip. You know Lala, the cute receptionist at the Pianta Parlor? She never gets too personal from beyond those iron bars because it's like business. But if you get in there and talk with her, she's a totally different person. You should go in there and get to know her. Folks say she's super chatty, but don't if you got skills, and I ain't. If you have more coins, I can tell you about what's hidden below. Oh, Wonky just got this juicy bit of info recently. You know that small hole down here that only a little critter can get through? But if you just head out from away from the wall there, and when you can't go any further, jump to get something good. If you see that hole, you should give it a try. And so, is, it, oh, is he talking about the hidden pretty lucky badge? I can tell you about how to save money. Yeah, which is obviously not by talking to you. I'm not saving mine that way. Did you notice that you can carry up to 9,999 coins? Which is a great change, by the way. But if you don't want to collect even more coins than that, you should buy gold bars from the shop near here. Usually when you sell items, you get less than what it costs to buy them. With gold bars, some shops will pay more than their selling price. 
But Wonky, my trusted financial advisor, I hear you say, what should I do if I'm close to having 9,999 coins? Why well, didn't buy a buy thought give a few gold bars to store in my shop? I call it retirement plan. You can too. So, I'm so glad they increased the coin cap, though. That's a really fucking good thing. I suppose I could tell you about Amazy Daisies, which I still need to find, by the way. I might just honestly tattle them in the pit. Might be what I do, honestly. I've heard tales of an Amazy Daisy, truly rare breed of Ming Mung Daisies. There were the oodles of stop points, but they're timid and tend to run away fast. Still, I bet if you kept visiting the same area, you can meet one again. And I suppose that's all I have to say. How much more info does he have? Jeez. I suppose I could tell you about the big door. Well, you know, there's a really big door down here. I haven't seen one myself, but if there's really some legendary treasure down here, it's behind that door. Yeah, when I saw it, I got the feeling there's bad stuff going down in there. In fact, I've been too heebie-jeebie since I get near that door ever since. That's what's all I have to say. Guys, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to reading what this guy has to say. I can tell you about the secret of Bodley Woods. Even Bodley Woods is a spot with a bunch of tree stumps all lined up. If you jump down and head on the tenth stump from the left, you get something good. Now, I don't know what it is, but I heard it's really good. Oh, that's he's telling you about another hidden badge. I can tell you about the strange sack. Ooh, yes, I want to know about this, actually. You know about the pit of 100 trials down here, right? Well, somewhere down there is an item called the strange sack. This thing's great. If you got it, you can hold up to 20 items. And you know what that means, my good friend? Easy adventuring. Oh, so they didn't. In fact, they actually made the strange sack worse then, because you start out with 15 items. Now the strange sack only lets you carry five more, so it's not actually as good as it used to be. No adventure should be without one. Take it from old Wonky. I, I thought the strange side was gonna let me carry 30 items, but no, I guess that's too good to be true, huh? I suppose I could tell you about striking first. Don't you love when you strike first on the field and get that first attack in? If you use a spin jump, a barber's attack to strike first, then your first attack might have more power than just a jump or hammer move, you see? It's not a big thing, but it's worth remembering. And that's, all, that's all I have to say. How much more info does this guy have? I suppose I can tell you about the minstrel. The minstrel? What the fuck? Somewhere here in Rogueport, there's a minstrel by the name of Grifty. Oh, that guy. He knows all the old legends of the Rogueport. And he'll tell you interesting tales you never heard before, I'm pretty sure. So if you find him, you should definitely listen to at least one. He has- he still has more of- I'll stop at 200, how about that? I can tell you about monsters' weaknesses. There's a lot more mo mo mean monsters in this world, but many have weaknesses. Everybody knows that fire monsters are weak against ice and vice versa. But flying monsters are weak against wind, they tend to get dizzy easily. And sometimes machine and cloud monsters tend to freeze more the most. I haven't even heard that it's very easy to put prime plants to sleep. I'd say try some new things and see if you can find all monsters' weaknesses. Yeah, I do remember- I do remember that. I suppose I can tell you about spin panels. You know about those weird and mysterious spin panels crying across, across the world? When you spin jump near one, stop piece might pop out. Score! Problem is, they look like just Lego four, so it's tricky to find them. Spin panels will jump out just a bit if you hit the ground nearby with a hammer, though. Might be worth to hit the ground here and there and look for them. There's actually one right in front of me, so give it a shot, why don't you? Oh, there is. I forgot about that. Well, I'm glad I talked to him, then. I suppose I could tell you about Chet Ripple. Sure. There's a weird guy named Chet Ru who lives down here somewhere. I hear he'll lower stat and raise another one for you if you want. And he can even power down one of your partners to power up another. He may be spendy, but I'm sure it's worth it. And I suppose that's all I have to say. I think that's good. I didn't know that- I forgot there's a star piece panel right here, actually. So, you know what? I'm glad I talked to him. That, uh, gives me more star piece panels, and, you know, that's very good. Alright, so what else can we do here? Well, I was gonna go to- I was gonna go to fucking chapter one. So let's do that. I just got really sidetracked. This might be a big, uh, side quest -y episode, actually. Might make this a two-parter? We'll see. Woo! Fortunately, I can't get that Defend Plus yet, so we'll have to wait a while. Oh yeah, we can go in here now. See, you know what? I'm glad I came in here. So 
So I don't think we can get everything down here until after... Basically, we can't get everything down here until before Chapter 7, so... It's gonna take a while. But hey, we got another Shiny Sprite, that's good. <laughs> Probably the last party member I'll upgrade is fucking Miss Mouse. Because Miss Mouse just... Miss Mouse just sucks. <laughs> The only thing I'll use her for is if I see a badge. And then he has a badge, I'll go for it. Ooh, Game Metal just uploaded Dracula's Castle remix from Symphony of the Night. Now that's pretty nice. Well, I mean, I suppose I could turn on the nostalgic badges again. Oh, yeah, and I also have, um, more BP. Uh, what did I want to put on? I guess I can put on Power Bounce now, again. I haven't used the Power Bounce in a, in a hot minute. Let's see, use Josh. Yeah, you can't cheat. You can't. Yoshi just got nerfed really hard. I don't really like what they did with him. Well, that's poopy. Hey, speaking of badges... <laughs> hmm. You know what, let's get rid of these guys first. Alright, let's get- let's knock him to the ground first. No, I killed him, fuck! I'm too strong for the game. I'm too strong that I can't even knock down a Koopa. Well, rip that badge. So we're here for two reasons. I, I unfortunately have to make multiple trips here because two troubles are related to Cook Kill Castle. And since you can't take multiple troubles at once, you really just have to take three different visits to this place, which really sucks. And also, if you come back here later, you can break those blocks. I don't know if it's worth doing, but you can. Oh, out of the way, buddy. Alright, hang on. We're gonna need Bobbery real quick. You guys probably have an idea of who I'm gonna upgrade first. Alright, here we go. This is apparently a separate room. This is a hidden room, Hooktail Castle. Who knew there was a room here? Well, I guess secret rooms are supposed to be secret. Yeah! I got the up arrow! It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody super. And we're gonna do the other thing. We're gonna find Cuckoo. Though she's very quiet when you ride him now. He used to make a lot of noises in the original. Like, he'd make this like weird squeaky noise. I don't know what you call it. Different sound design, really. Question. I was gonna wonder, I was gonna ask if I could, like, hit the switch and then get on, but I'm gonna say probably not. Bonk. <laughs> I love how the hammer just bonks the wall now. Still no shortcut, sadly. I don't remember if Yoshi can make that gap or not. Hard to say. Take a dump. Oops. 
Alright, let's see if I can make this jump with Yoshi, actually. Oh yeah, let's go. Wait, I think there's a unique tattle here, too. Hey, you know, I wonder, could this be Kupu who asks for help? You know, the guy who asked us to find him somewhere in Hooktail Castle? She found me! Curses, I, f I felt for sure no one would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love seeking and hiding so much, I just never stopped. It was a hobby, but I kept hiding, and soon I was known as the hide and seek Koopa. Koopa. I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high. Koop, is that you, dude? Yes, Koops. The same Koops who always had to be it when we play in hide and seek. But you never found me, not even once. I can't believe you finally did it. Yeah, I remember back then, that one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right, that was the very day I decided to become the hide and seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've hidden, snuck, and snuck, hidden, hid my way throughout life. Yep, that was a big day. But since you found me this time, I'll give you what I promised. You got a special card! Found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it, dude. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding spot. Good wish me luck. Guess I still gotta learn about hiding if you found me, Coops. It was nice seeing you again, though. See you later. You solved the trouble. Bro also has kneecaps for days, apparently. Well, that's one way to fall quickly. Because <laughs> you just fall so damn slowly in this game. Can't say I care for that change, but whatever. You'd have to, like, completely alter the physics of the game. To restore that. Also, the bridge is slightly different. The broken bridge. It used to look a lot more jagged in the original, and they changed that, too. I think that changes for the better, though. It makes, it makes going across with Yoshi less awkward. I love doing that. There's something really satisfying about that. Alright, so now what can we do? Well, yeah, I could do some cooking. I would need to get a recipe list, honestly, though. Nice RP, so I have now. 14. I still need one more to get power plus P, though. What is that in your hand? What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? Of course! Oh? Ooh. Look at the Ultra Stone. 4K Ultra Stone! This is the Ultra Stone. So that's what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in my attic. With this, I could power up your partners even more. Ooh, beautiful. We are cooking now. Care to power up, care, power, care to power up a partner right now? All right, let's uh, let's rank up Goombella. First of all, let's get Rally Wink. This Rallywank is goaded. Ooh. Yeah, I got yeah, let's get let's get Bobbery ranked up too. We're gonna get the two best abilities first. 
We're gonna get we're gonna get um stampede and we're gonna get rally wing. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now we have the two best abilities in the game. Although I do want to get Shell Slam eventually. And maybe Bombast. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say, but those are the two best abilities, and I want them as soon as possible, you know what I mean? Actually, question, did Grifty get any new stories? Oh yeah, that's right. There's another thing we can do here. Let me just get this right now, before I forget. We're gonna become a boat. We're gonna get a uh, you know, the good old double dip. Double dip, yeah! We finally have double dip. Let's go. It took way too long to get that badge. <laughs> Dude, I miss having double dip, dude. I, I've been going the whole game without it, and I'm just like... I'm like, where's my double dip? <laughs> you know what I mean? Did your dialogue update? Ishtay, I told you to wash my hands with thievery. So, I can't be a geologist. I can't be a thief. What should I do, you think? Do I have no talents? Huh, <laughs> that's not... that's funny. Hey, you yell, chump. You hear you went to the infamous Keyhole Key. So, any treasure there? I tell you, you never find me going to a place like that. I mean, if you get cursed, that's the end of it, you know? Life's too precious, chump. Seriously, though. Ten coins is nothing to beat somebody over. You cheap meathead. He's still pissed about that. I love how, I love how Gus is still pissed about the fact that I beat him up. Oh yeah, I forgot about the star piece behind Bobbery's house. Holy fuck, I'm stupid. Well, let's go get that. And then we'll also get the, um... We'll talk to Grifty. Oh! Shit, man, I'm about to die. Wait. I thought there was a star piece back here. Am I stupid? I guess I already got that. I thought I saw a star piece. Good day to you, sirs. So I tell you to hear. Did he add new ones? He did. The four heroes thought they had sealed away the demon and all its powers. But the demon used a tiny opening before the seal was complete to curse them all. While holding the crystal stars, they'd feel nothing. But when they let them go, a black chest would appear to seal their souls within. The four heroes traveled the world scattering the stars so the seal would remain. But the last four stars each carried the curse, which claimed each hero. We also get to learn about the tree and the punies. The hiding places of many of the crystal stars have now faded into legend. But some say that the wise Goomba hid one in the great tree. At that time, many monsters wandered in the nearby Bogley Woods. The tiny punies living in the woods were constantly tormented by the fierce monsters. Pitying them, the Goomba hollowed out the great tree for the punies to live in. Peas were so grateful that they swore to protect the crystal star there. We have Pirate Kurt King Cortez. The Koopa hero went to a southern isle to hide his star where none would find it. But the Koopa was so tired from his journey that the Pirate King Cortez stole it easily. In that very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an inescapable chest. But Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost it among his treasure. I think we also have to hear about... There's a few other stories we'll hear about eventually, but yeah. You know, a good question. Miss Mouse, is there anything in this area that I missed? Anything? We're done here in this area, okay. And the only thing in this area is the, um... 
the ultra boots. Or the ultra hammer chest, rather. Not ultra boots. Okay, let's go to the bad shop and sell some of the old crap we don't need as well. Once I learned the proper time for exploding, I started thinking it was an art form. But now I know an explosion's just an explosion, and there ain't no way around it. Hey, Scram, don't talk to me. My heart's burning for some long lost love. I don't want to say it's too loudly, you understand. But this blossom is the daughter of Don Pianta, Francesca, the mob princess. I haven't seen her around town lately. I hope she hasn't eloped with another. This guy might, that guy might be into NTR, you better watch out. This part of this place, a ring of fire will extinguish flames of passion reignite. <laughs> Hello there, you Mario. You're doing well, I must assume, yes? <laughs> Who, me, you are see asking? Well, I am now the second richest man in Rogue Court. Yes, having my beautiful S's Flavian smashed to bits was not a financial boon, hmm? And rip him. <laughs> oh, oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? Hmm, I certainly hope she hasn't been kidnapped by any of the thieves in this town. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. I think we're... Yeah, I'll heal up. It sure is a cozy vibe in here, you know? Alright, go to the bad shop. Oh yeah, there are some things we can do in town, in the west side of town now as well. Alright, I got some shit to sell you. Some shit, pickle. Uh, I am going to sell... Um... You know, I don't need two pretty luckies. I'm gonna get rid of one. I forgot I have two last stands, yeah. I'm pretty OP. Okay, don't need to fend plus P. That badge is kind of useless. And I don't need P down the up either. There we go. And that should be good. I, oh yeah, I have two power pluses. Might want to keep that though. Um, Alright, so what I think I'll do is I'm going to buy some badges I don't have yet. We're going to buy power jump. What is Piercing Blow? Deliver damage that ignores MET. I'm gonna buy Piercing Blow, too. Ooh, oh my god, Fire Drive. I don't want that, too. Let's get Power... Let's get Fire Drive as well. I should have had this way longer ago, man. Rush P. I could have had this, too. Okay, let's get that. And... Um, that should be good. So now we have better badges. Okay, I'll take off Power Bounce, then. Oh, what do I want to put on, then? Hmm. Fire Drive is really tempting, man. Fire Drive is super good. But also, Double Dip is super good, too. Fuck, I need more BP. <laughs> I want to put on more shit, you know? Do I have any good items? You know, I never tried cooking the Volstrom. I also have mail. Oh, yeah, Boo Mail. Are you Mario? Did this email... Did this... this did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks, so here it is. There's still lots of treasure, treasure at Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably found them already. Ugh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure, Creepy Steeple, boo. Oh, he's, 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 he's treating me with respect, even though I kicked his ass, but you know what? It's probably the point. Hmm. You know what? I think it's time to pull up a recipe list, guys. We're gonna do this. Alright, recipe. List of ST recipes. Cause this this page is gonna be trending like hella, hella a lot. Alright, so apparently, if we use a dried bouquet and a coconut, we can get a coconut bomb. Wait, no. No. We need a coconut and a fire flower to get a coconut bomb. Oh shit, I don't have any coconuts. I need to go get some, man. I need to get some lots of stuff actually. My inventory is almost full. Is there anything I can make with Keel Mango? I think if I get a a, ma a cake mix, I can get a Mango Delight. So maybe I'll do that. You know, we'll check the Lucky Lottery in a sec, too. It sure would be nice to eat, eat dinner as a family and take a vacation sometime. We never hang out together as a family. It's terrible. 
<laughs> that poor kid. He's never gonna have family time. Uh, I can't write anything good at all. I just stink. I stink at writing. I bet if I were to write on the Ex Express, I could come up with a good tale. Yeah, I need to read all the people's dialogue here in town, too. Here, we get a shine sprite for our troubles. I don't know, it's, at times I really do miss the synthesized sounds of, uh, TT, of the old TTYD, which is nice to hear them again. Yeah, another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing, dude. Oh well, I sold the desert island I owned for boatloads of more cash or whatever. He owned a deserted island? Going to theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately without, like, since my favorite actors left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. I can't believe I got to meet you, Madame Flurry. I love your performance in The Boy Who Cried Woo. I've seen a hundred times. <laughs> Some unique dialogue there. Hey, he's over his... He got over his fear. The reason I'm always hanging out around here is because I'm so, it's so boring at home. My dad spends all day writing bad novels that never sells. Mom lives at the parlor, and my brother never leaves the house at all. Yeah, so you see why I'm not exactly in a rush to go back there. <laughs> yes, you won't believe it. I got the second prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery. Tomorrow I'm gonna get the first prize for sure. Yes, I'll be here until tomorrow. Well, let's see how it goes today. It's still rigged, I imagine. Yep. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. Come again tomorrow. I think the I think I think the happy lucky lottery still works the same way, man. All right, we can finally get this shine sprite. Yeah. You know, I guess since we're here, we might as well talk to Don Pianta. All right, I'm back for my little break. Okay. Anyways, um, oh yeah, I was gonna talk to Don Pianta. That's right, I forgot. There's a lot of things I need to do. Oh yes, the Pianta parlor theme. Hey, if it ain't you, that guy I saw before, you need to meet with the boss once again, eh? Well, normally we could, but, you know, help you out, but the boss is currently snoozing. That's Don Pianta, the Snigget Boss. He's looking a bit grim, even for a mobster. Think he's okay? <laughs> Ugh, Francesca. Oh, poor boss. My dad's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Uh, on the boss, Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us left and right. Hey, but enough about us and stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? What? Tickets for the rentiest chain at the round? For the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling winding? Yes! Oh, ain't nothing we could do about that. Yeah, I was giving out tickets. That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't sing, stand seeing the boss like this. If only we could help the boss see his daughter again. I mean, Francesca and Frankie? Didn't we see them on Kill Hall Key, Mario? What, 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 what did you say? Repeat that? You know where the young Miss Pianta's at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you lie, and I'll turn you to confetti, so help me! Yeah. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal! We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train ticket situation. What, you got a deal or what? It's like a hike, bub. What? What did you say? I thought we were like family. This how you treat family? It would be real sad to see someone real bad having to use guys. Real sad. I understand. See, now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. So screw this up. 
Yeah, you go get us Miss Bianca and be quick about it, else you might get antsy. Once you do, I'm sure the boss will see what we can do about getting used to train ticket. Maybe. Well, now be a good time to go down to the sewers and open up the, the shortcut to chapter 5, eh? What can I cook with all this, though? I never use half my FP items. I'm just hoarding shit. Like, why? Yeah, I really do have a hoarding problem. I just don't really need a lot of cooking items, you know what I mean? I really don't. Alright, let's go to the Pianta Changer. Let's get... Uh, we can get 20 Piantas. Ooh, they make a fun little noise. That should be good. Oh, Mario, that card! You got a member's card! Okay, I'll prep the minigame and you can play with that member's card. How exciting! You can now play the playing game! Alright, we'll play the playing game, actually. That sounds like a fun idea. So now, she sells more badges. I'm gonna get cake mix. And, you know, let's try out the plane game. Sounds fun. In this game, you turn into a paper airplane and complete, complete see how far you can fly. The harder you fly, the more piantas you win. If you land on one of the platforms with numbers, you get a bonus. But if you land on the penalty tile, you'll lose piantas, so be careful when landing. It'll cost you 10 piantas. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to turn off- I need to turn off the, the badge. I need to hear the new music. Yeah, let's hear that- let's hear that minigame music. Which is one of my battle themes in the infinite pit. Scan your toes! Good luck! Whoop! Ooh, look, check this shit out. Fancy. Whoop. I used to grind the shit out of this game as a kid. That's really fun. Yeah, plus 21 piantas. New record! New record! You can usually get an average of like 10 per, per play time. But sometimes you can get more. Or 16 that time. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this for like five, ten minutes. Just get it. bear with me. It's it's fun. Plus three. New record. Got twenty four piantas though. Let's see if I can beat my record. Well, that's definitely not good. I did it! Yeah, I only got four that time. 
So this is like one of the ideal ways to grind Piantas, if you ask me. It's just very awkward to control. I don't know how to control the plane optimally, though. Yeah, I can't seem to get past like 463. See if maybe I can pass 500. That'll be my goal. No, I can't get it for whatever reason. I seem to get 19. I want to get to 500 though, man. That would give way, give me way more. But like, you know, let's just see what happens if I match the left stick. No, you just, you just drop like really fast if you do that. You got any of those bonuses down there? How the fuck do you how do you fuck do you fly farther in this game though? Seriously. Still can't beat my record, fuck. I mean, hey, at least I'm getting like a solid 20 every time. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be, that's not gonna cut it. Why'd you ever want to descend? I'm confused. Maybe you got maybe you fly farther if you rock it back and forth. I don't know. You know, let me just try something stupid. Wow, what the fuck did I just do there? Maybe you get farther if you rock it back and forth, I don't know. Nope, that doesn't do it. Oh, I'm waving. I'm gonna try a bunch of different like swerving motions, you know. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you get more distance. That's it, I figured it out. That's the whole point of descending, yeah. B500, let's go. Uh, 
That's a really good way to get Pianta's then. That seems to be my record for now. Not bad, though. Makes you wonder how the paper game's gonna control, then. Nope, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Don't do that. You gotta have, like, a rhythm to it, you know? I got the times two though in this, I don't think. Like I could in the original. But that should be good enough, I think. I have plenty of piantas. So I could I got cake mix now. <laughs> What time are we at now? We're at an hour 36. That's not too bad, I guess. I might do multiple side questy episodes. This is too much fun. All I ever think about how this train cuts through the wind as it races across plains. Like a torpedo on Earth slicing through the relentless winds. Isn't it just the coolest thing ever? I don't have the money yet, but my dream is to one day ride the train. Frankie Francesca should be on Keel Hall Key. Let's head over there. Uh, there must have been so many heartfelt reunions on this very spot. Uh, it's just deep, man. I love the thought of it. I think I'm gonna cry. I gotta charge my phone soon. That uh, fucking stinks. I hate having to charge my phone. Why? Why is this a thing that must happen? Oh, how refreshing. The lily feels so similar when I'm near flowers. Who knows why? Maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> the Goomba that loves flowers. How much Moony do I have? 14. <laughs> I have no Moony left over. Alright. You know what? What does a Vulture make in this game? Let's find out, because I know a Vulture makes hot shrooms normally, but let's see if it makes anything. It just makes shroom fry. Oh, that's kind of mid, honestly. Alright, so this time we're going to use a Keel Mango and a Cake Mix. And we're going to make a Mango Delight. I'm pretty sure that's how you make Mango Delight anyway. Yep, there we go. 10 HP and 3 FP. Anything else I can cook together? Um, I've made a maple super already. Or maple shroom. I haven't made a maple super yet. I could do that. So let's look at our recipe list. We also have the sound gallery for chapter 5. I'll listen to that in maybe the next, uh, the next side quest episode. I don't have all the- oh yeah, right, I don't have all the star pieces yet. I need to go back anyway, so that should be fine. We have 14 out of 58 now. Not bad. Here's our badge list. We're missing Sleepy Stomp still, and Double Dip P. We have all the hammer badges though, that's pretty gnarly. You know, I'm sounding like Goombella. 
Close call P would go there. Missing pretty lucky P and lucky day. I'm missing uh, FP drain, which I think that's what that one is. Missing happy flower, super appeal, the normal one. Missing refund, I know that. So we're missing some shit. The object Koopa's, Koop's father found in Hooktail's belly. The object he got from the puny elder in the great tree. The object Jolene gave you after seeing Grubba. The object he got by defeating Bo Dupless the body thief. The object he got after not really defeating Cortez. <laughs> I like these descriptions. So we have the... We have the Topaz Star and the, uh... No, it's the Garnet Star, right? The Garnet Star and then the Crystal Star, right? You know, let's look at some tattles, too. We haven't done that in a sec. Occasionally, use an attack called Charge that saves up energy and can call in backup for support if you don't defeat it quickly. I also have... What else? Parabuzzy. A buzzy with wings and high defense. It flies in the air, but it'll come down if you stomp on it. A Koopa Wizard that'll use all sorts of magic. It breaks apart into multiple copies, so beat it as quickly as you can. And then we also have Putrid Piranha. As a poisonous piranha plant, it'll poison its opponents. Use your guard effectively to avoid poisoning. The fleet-footed flower foe is super cute, and it sings one hypnotically sleepy lullaby. I don't think I looked at that one yet. Um, Ember. These blue flame spirits are susceptible to ice and explosive attacks. They're said to be vengeful spirits of the recent dead. If you attack with fire, something horrible will happen. This flame spirit's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. If you stomp on it, you'll take damage. If you attack with fire, you'll wish you stomped instead. Uh, oh yeah, bulky bomb. The, a big pink bomb that explodes after four turns. The explosion is so big, so take it out before then. A large black cannon that shoots bullet bills, unknown whether it's alive or not. A projectile that attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Take it out before it slams into you. Uh, we have... Huh. Oh yeah, I think this is Dupless 2, right? Cortez... Actually, did I even look at the, these yet? Um, Macho Grubba has the confidence to match his muscles that are being powered up by the Crystal Star. This is the beast that plunged Twilight Town into the depths of fear and despair, and enjoys turning innocent people to pigs. A pirate spirit who stayed in Kill Hall Key to guard his treasure. We have x Not and x Nots. <laughs> Platoon members summoned by Crump. Their max HP depends on their condition. As long as Crump's still standing, he'll always summon more to replace the ones you defeat. There's no telling how many hours of exhausted training it took to coordinate their team-up attack under Crump's commands. That's new. That's a brand new one. A leader of the x -Nauts. he likes to attack with body slams. Always an interesting foe. Okay, so I think this is Magnus 2.0. I think this is Grotus. I think. Yeah, so that's why there's... That's why there's new, uh... You know, tattle logs here. A tropical island, the southern sea. Oh, I think I read these already, right? Yeah, I read that already. I'm stupid. So... Yeah, the next uh, star, crystal star, is over here. I love that it lights up, telling you where you need to go. Pretty good detail, I like that. I need to buy more shit from you at some point. Smell that? So it smells like low tide. Yes, indeed, diddly. Don't tell you went out on a sea boat dressed like that. You look like a plumber. Castaways returned from the cursed island of Heel Hall Key. With treasure, maybe? Be a corner. Mustache guy's back from Kilo Key. I wanna go. Who cares if I get cursed? A guy who wants to make some easy money. <laughs> I also gotta spend... I gotta save up enough to buy the Super Luigi books at some point, too. There's no huge secret, but you seem okay. I'm lying low in this thieves' den because I'm a wanted Goomba. What? I'm not wanted by anybody? Really? Coins look really nice in this game still, though. <laughs> Yesterday I blew through 600 coins of the parlor. Next time I'm gonna... Oh wait, now I'm all out of cash. That isn't good. <laughs> he finally went through all his money. You're probably just jealous. No one's souping around. It's the perfect hiding spot. I mean, look at this garbage. The place is a total mess. Who'd want to come in here? Burn, 
Bam, 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 bam. Who have I not talked to in a while? I think I've talked to pretty much everybody in Roveport now, so I think we're done here. Surprisingly, I haven't gone hungry yet. I might jinx that, though. Alright. Let's see what we have. Types of audience members, part 3. And there's even more kinds of spectators. Let's reveal a few more. You'll be shocked when I tell you that Hammer Bros will throw hammers at you. Shock. Daisy's was saying that creep the buys and put nearby spectators to sleep. Booze will throw all sorts of things, but also might turn onto the stage and make someone invisible. Bulky bombs are huge and will sometimes light their fuses and blow up air out there. Yep, that is true. Well, Bobbery. Bobbery's brass can sometimes cause things on the stage to topple over and fall down when he attacks enemies. Storm Squad lets him throw three bombs at Rose Sprawl at the end of a throwing turn. When one brawls up, any bombs near it will brawl up at the moment as well, even if two haven't passed. Uh, any more? Chet Rippo. You know about Chet Rippo? Calls himself an adjuster, revs on the ground. He can adjust your stats at all your partner's ranks. He can roll one of your stats, HP or FP or badge points to raise a different one. He can also drop the rank of one of your partners to raise the rank of another one. So if you're underneath roll point and see that building grows red in the distance, then you stop by. But well, Chet doesn't just for free, Mario, be ready. I think that's all. Okay. What other troubles can we do? Uh, we have tell that person and looking for a gal. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it in my house in Twilight Town. Want to take on Eve's trouble? Yep. Do it and do it right. Oh yeah, I remember this one being like really sad or whatever. We'll have to do that. But you know what? I think we will do that in the next episode.